Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see how to make DIY body lotion. This is the most cost effective body lotion you are going to see. So the ingredients you require are aloe vera leaf or aloe vera gel, lemon, rose water. Next step is completely optional adding vitamin E capsules. Then you need honey and the last and the most important ingredient is coconut oil or you can skip coconut oil with any other oil that you are comfortable with that can be olive oil, mustard oil or even argan oil. So now let's see how to make this individual body lotion. So I'm just starting by taking this aloe vera gel. You can skip this aloe vera gel and you can take raw aloe vera leaf and you can even take out the gel from the raw aloe vera leaf but here just for the convenience I'm just taking this gel because mostly people do not have aloe vera plant in their house so for them I'm just showing with this so I'm just taking almost two tablespoon of aloe vera gel into a clean container so once I have taken that now I'm just going to add lemon juice in that so I'm just adding half a lemon that is almost two tablespoon of lemon juice into the mixture so once that is done now I'm going to add the base material or the base liquid so my base is going to be the rose water for that I'm just taking a rose water you can add any rose water of your choice or you can make DIY rose water at home so here I'm just adding almost 8 to 10 tablespoon of rose water. Now the next step is completely optional. Here I'm just showing how you can add vitamin E capsules. But if you feel that you do not need then you can skip this step completely. Here people those who have very much dry skin and they feel that their skin is getting stretch marks and you have a very very rough and dull skin then in that case you can add vitamin E capsules then if you want you can add honey as well but I will suggest if you are having a very oily skin then you don't really need honey other than that people with normal sensitive dry and combinational skin can add honey as well Honey is going to give you that elasticity that you need in your skin. It is not just going to moisturize but it is going to give that glow because if your skin is well moisturized then only it is going to have that natural glow. Here I am just adding a single tablespoon of honey. So once that is done, now the final and the most important ingredient is oil. So for oiling you can add coconut oil here I'm just adding one tablespoon of extra virgin coconut oil so you can replace that oil and you can add any other oil of your choice if you are not comfortable with coconut oil but coconut oil is very much essential in skincare because the pH value of coconut oil is almost similar to human skin pH so it does wonder to our skin so in that aspect coconut oil is the best option other than that you can add olive oil also so if you are not comfortable with coconut oil you can add olive oil so here I'm just showing off how you can add both the oils here I'm just adding extra virgin coconut oil here I'm just showing you how you can mix and match both the oils or different kind of oil for making this individual liquid or the lotion so here you can see previously I have added one tablespoon of coconut oil and the next one I'm adding one tablespoon of olive oil. So if you have extremely dry skin then you need four tablespoon of oil. Any oil of your choice that can be argan oil, mustard oil or even any one of these two oils. So this is how I'm just mixing everything together. So this body lotion is not completely oil based neither it is water based so anyone can use this you can mix and match the ingredients for making it much more comfortable for yourself because I already told if you have dry skin then you need much more oil and if you feel that you have too much oily skin then I will suggest you to minimize the amount of oil you mix in that 
So now the next ingredient is completely completely optional. This is adding a pinch of turmeric because many people complained that whenever they talk about aloe vera, aloe vera increases facial hair growth or even body hair growth. So what to do in that case? Because aloe vera is something which is very much good for our skin but there are many people those who are suffering because of hair growth problems as well. So here I am just showing you a solution in that case. If you are adding aloe vera and you are not comfortable in terms of facial or body hair growth then what you can do you can add a pinch of turmeric. Turmeric is something which prevents hair growth and moreover it is a good antibacterial agent. If you are having a acne or a pimple prone skin or a oily skin then turmeric will help you. But I will suggest if you do not have any kind of doubt or any such huge issue with aloe vera then do not add turmeric because once you add turmeric this liquid is going to be very messy because after adding turmeric if you apply this liquid onto your body and you go out for work or anything turmeric is going to stain all your clothes so that is the biggest issue. So this is how you can make your body lotion. This body lotion is ideal for all the skin tones, skin types and skin texture. So if you have huge amount of acne or pimple problems in your body then you can add that turmeric thing. Other than that you can skip that completely. If you have huge amount of dry skin then I will suggest you to increase the amount of honey vitamin E capsule and oil. If you have oily skin then I will suggest you to minimize the amount of those three things. So this is how you can customize this body lotion and make it completely for yourself. So make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, share with your friends and most importantly take care of yourself. Bye bye. Take care.